Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2448, minimum cost to make array equal. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given two input arrays, nums and cost. So we need to make all the elements in the nums array equal to a particular element. So to get that particular element, I can either increase the value or decrease the value by one, right? So for example, if I want to make all the elements equal to 2. So to make 1 equal to 2, I need to increase this 1 by 1. Then I can make this 1 as 2, right? So we need to perform one operation. So the cost of performing one operation on 1 is nothing but the ith cost of 1. That is 2 here. So we need to multiply 1 with so this is nothing but the number of operation performed, right? So here we are going to get 2. So if I want to change 3 to 2, I have to decrease it by 1. Then I can make this value equal to 2, right? So we can perform one operation to change it to 2. And we have to multiply with the cost of performing that operation. So cost of performing one operation on 3 is nothing but the ith cost. That is the first index cost is the cost of 3. So we need to multiply with 3. So we are going to get 3 here. So now if I want to change 5 to 2, what I need to do here? I need to decrease 5 3 times. So I need to perform 3 operations, right? So to perform 1 operation on 5 is 1. So I will multiply 1 to the 3. So we are going to get 3 here. Then we have 2 already present here. So we don't have to perform any operations. So it will be 0. Then we need to sum all the values. We are going to get 8. So we need to calculate the minimum cost to make all the values in the array nums equal. Right? So for example, if I try to change all the elements equal to 4, the cost will be very high. Right? It will be greater than 8. So for the given example, making all the elements equal to 2 will give us the minimum cost, right? So the goal of the problem is, first we need to find the element which will give us the minimum cost. After finding this element, we need to calculate the cost of making all the elements equal to that element, right? So we are going to solve this problem using binary search. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we will be having three variables. So here left pointer is nothing but the minimum element in the given nums. That is 1 here. So we have taken 1 as my left. Then for the right pointer, we are going to take the maximum element in the given nums array. So here 5 is the maximum element. Then we need to add 1 to it. So we are going to get 6. So right pointer will be 6. Then we are going to calculate the middle element. So we will add left and right pointer. We will do integer division by 2. So here we are going to get 3, right? Then we will be writing a loop. I will run the loop until the left pointer is less than the right pointer. Now I need to calculate the cost of mid. That is cost of making all the elements equal to 3. So I will calculate the absolute difference between the mid value and each and every element in the nums array. Then I will multiply with the respective cost. So the absolute difference between 3 and 1 is 2 which means I need to perform two operations on one to change one as three. So we are calculating the number of operations to change all the elements as three, right? Then we need to multiply with the respective cost. That is two here. So we are going to get four. Then to change three as three, we are going to get zero. So it remains four. Then to change five as three, we are going to get 2, right? Absolute difference between 5 and 3 is 2. That means we need to perform 2 operations to make 5 as 3. Then I need to multiply with the respective cost. That is 1. So here we are going to get 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Then to change 2 as 3, we are going to get 1. Absolute difference between 2 and 3 is 1. Then we need to multiply with the cost. The cost is 14. So we are going to get 20. So the cost of making all the elements equal to 3 is 
20 right now we are going to compare this with the next small element so the next small element after 3 is 4 right so we are going to calculate the cost for 4 as well so mid plus 1 right so now we are going to calculate the cost of making all the elements in the input array as 4 so the absolute difference between 4 and 1 is 3 so cost of making 1 as 4 is 2 right we have to multiply with 2 so we are going to get 6 so then absolute difference between 3 and 4 is 1 that is I need to perform one operation to make 3 as 4 then we need to multiply with the respective cost that is 3 so here we are going to get 3 if I sum them I'm going to get 9 then to change 5 as 4 the absolute difference is nothing but 1 then we need to multiply with the cost that is also 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 so 9 plus 1 is 10 then absolute difference between 2 and 4 is 2 then the cost is 14 we need to multiply 14 to the 2 so here we are going to get 28 right so 28 plus 10 we are going to get 38 so the cost of making all the elements equal to 4 is 38 so we need to compare 38 and 20 here so based on this we will move our left and right pointers right so when mid is less than mid plus 1 we will make right pointer as my middle value so in this case right becomes 3 since this particular condition is valid right so we need to make right as my middle value middle is 3 so right becomes middle so if this condition fails we will make left as my mid plus 1 value right so now we need to calculate the middle value again so left plus right is 4 then we need to perform integer division by 2 we are going to get 2 so middle becomes 2 now so now we need to calculate the cost of making all the elements equal to 2 so in the beginning of the video we know the cost of making all the elements 2 right it was 8 I'm not calculating here since we already know what is the cost of making all the elements equal to 2 right so cost of making all the elements 2 is 8 so what is mid plus 1 which is nothing but 3 so we already know what is the cost of making 3 right it was 20 so again this condition is valid here 8 is less than 20 we are going to make right pointer as my middle value so right becomes middle so right is 2 now so again we need to calculate the middle so left plus right we are going to get 3 we need to perform integer division we are going to get 1 so middle will point to 1 right so we need to calculate of making all the elements equal to 1 that is middle value right so to make 1 as 1 it is going to be 0 since it's already equal to 1 then to make 3 as 1 the absolute difference between 1 and 3 is 2 and we need to multiply the cost of making this change that is 3 so we have 6 here 0 plus 6 it's going to be 6 then to make 5 as 1 the absolute difference between 5 and 1 is 4 right then we need to multiply with the cost of making this change that is 1 so here we are going to get 4 6 plus 4 is going to be 10 then the absolute difference between 2 and 1 is 1 then the cost is 14 right we have to multiply with 14 we are going to get 14 here 14 plus 10 we are going to get 24 so we are going to put 24 here so middle plus 1 is 2 middle is 1 and plus 1 is going to be 2 so we need to calculate the cost of 2 we already know what is the cost of 2 that is 8 right so now this condition fails 24 is not less than 8 so we have to make left as my mid plus 1 so here mid is 1 plus 1 is going to be my left that is 2 so now we have to stop the loop since left is not less than right right both are equal so left pointer will be having the value that we need to make all the elements equal right so in this case if I make all the elements equal to 2 the cost is minimum then we will calculate the cost of 2 which is nothing but 8 so we need to return 8 as my answer right that's all the logic is now we will see the code
before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i will be having the left and right pointers the left pointer will be having the minimum element in the nums array and right pointer will be having the maximum element plus one in the nums array then we will be calculating middle element by using the left and right pointer and we will do integer division by two then i will run the loop until the left pointer is less than the right pointer then we need to calculate the cost for the middle element and then we need to calculate the cost of the middle plus one element as well then we need to compare whether the cost of middle element is less than the cost of the middle plus one element if this is true we need to make right pointer as my middle value else we need to make left is equal to mid plus one value then we will calculate the middle element again right so now we will see the cal cost function so here in the cal cost function we are initializing total cost as zero at the start then we are iterating through the nums array we will pick the index and the value using enumerate function then we will be calculating the absolute difference between the middle element and the current element in the nums array then we need to multiply with the respective cost then we will sum all the cost as my total cost right then we need to return the total cost as well so after running the loop the left pointer will be having the element that we require then again we need to calculate the cost of the left pointer value right that's all the code is now we will run the code thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys